Patience and commitment. Patience and commitment are essential for an enduring and happy marriage. To ensure that your marriage thrives and is filled with happiness, you must hold the virtues of patience and contentment daily. Don't forget that marriage is an institution that needs to be guarded against failure of any kind, though it is ideally a wholesome institution. It can take whatever outlook that you desire, whether pleasant or terrible. Remember, as you make your bed, so will you lie on it. Marriage can be likened to a home, and every home needs a fence for security purposes. Patience and commitment are the blocks by which we build our fence in marriage. A very good morning to my viewers all across the world. Welcome to your Poetic Intel on the Weekend Show. My name is Emeka Ozurumba, and I've just been talking about the building blocks, the foundation, the cell of any society, and that's marriage and a family, a home. And with me today, I have a lovely writer who wrote this lovely book, Marriage Solutions, Mon Perry Ziba. Good morning, Mon Perry. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you for having me here. Yes. I've been reading your book, and, uh, you know, Chapter 12 was talking about patience and commitment. I want to ask you, what inspired you to write this lovely book? Well, actually, what happened now, when I grow, I found out that life is very important. You can't play with life. So marriage is just like it brings up life. So when you don't take care of life, in fact, you find out you lose your life. So one for the team to inspire me is we want to keep life going and, and goodly. You have to talk about marriage and that's bring peace. And when there's peace at home anywhere, in fact, it can lead you to heaven. Thank you very much. Okay, because I could tell broken homes lead to broken societies. Yes, and as we can see in Nigeria, the home, the cell needs to be approached with maximum and, you know, uh, maximum effect so that we can see better changes in our society. I also want to ask you, in your book, you talk about the effectiveness of good communication in marriage, because you know communication is very important. So what um, more can you tell us about the effectiveness of um, good communication? Well, when you are married, when the couple is married, the communications bring the couple together and they live alone to trust each other. By the time you're able to tell your uh, couple, your colleague that this is what they want to do, can we talk together? When you talk together and plan together and do things together, it is better. You find that you live long and you appreciate each other and nobody will ever come to you in between you. When nobody ever, never come in between you, you find out that the marriage whole famous and that is the meaning of communication. Without communication, you don't expect anything to go in the right way in every aspect of life. So marriage is one of the best things that communication has to be involved. Okay, you, you also talk about, um, in chapter one, marriage being a tragic comedy. So I, I really want to understand that because you know the word come from uh, an enjambment of two words, tragic and comedy. So why do you think marriage is a tragic comedy? Well, when you say tragic, tragic is a bad thing that can happen to human. And also comedy is a good thing that can happen to human. So when you say marriage, marriage is a compound word also. Ma means a bad thing. Ma, M-A-R, means a bad thing. While rage means a good thing. So when I say marriage is tragic comedy, there are goodness in marriage and there's badness in marriage. There's nothing you can do. When you say there are goodness and badness in marriage, in life entirely, you can never success without going to badness or goodness. So in life, you must experience goodness and badness for the life to go on. If not, life will not go on. God himself has said, I'm God and there's no like me. I make evil and I make good. If God has mentioned that, then we cannot live with that badness and go. So when it happened to us, we should be prepared and we'll conquer everything about life. Okay, that's very nice. You know, it reminds me of your other book, Supremacy, because now you're talking about duality. Yes. And your, um, your book, Supremacy, talks about duality. So um, can I ask you about the tenets of a good marriage foundation? Yes, uh, when you said the good marriage foundation, every foundation must have to come from the parents. And... When you have good marriage, it depends most especially on the mother. How is the mother training her daughter? How is the mother training her daughter to be able to obey her husband? And how is the father training his child to be able to love his wife very well? So it depends on how you were taught from the beginning before you were able to get your good marriage. If you don't have the good training, I'm telling you, uh, as a woman doesn't know how to cook and she got to her husband's house and she expects that her husband will love her without knowing how to do some good cooking, it's not good, except the parents, the mother and the father train their child with good background before you have an effective marriage. Okay, um, this lovely book, I want to ask, is it just for married couples or is it also for, you know, single people? In fact, this book, uh, Love uh, Solutions, is for everybody. 
In fact, when you are going into marriage training, it's supposed to take this book to train you on how you will handle your wife, how you handle your couple. And for people that are already in marriage, it will continue to teach you how to continue to control your marriage and to have good communication, you have good peace, you have the way to train your wife with every kind of loving because all are stated in this book. The moment one is getting married, one is supposed to have this book to let your family be able to stand firm. And of course, you get it right. Okay, sorry, um, my last question now. Uh, can you just tell us where we can get your book in case Nigerians want to read your book? Where could they get your book? Well, uh, it's not Nigerian, it's uh, for the whole world, not only the whole world as well, it's <laughs> okay, for the, the whole world. universe. Yeah, you can get this book in, in uh, Amazon, it is there in Amazon, you Amazon. can read it cheaply. Or if you want to really get it, you can also go to Google. When you type my name on Perry Jiba on Google, it will bring out even the two books for you, both Supremacy and the Marriage Solutions. And you also in the AMAC office, here in AMAC, you can get to the office and book for your copy and it should be provided for you. Okay, thank you so much for coming on the program, yeah. Mr. Monperi Ziba. I do appreciate your voice. Lovely Nigerians, lovely viewers all across the world. We've just been reviewing this lovely book, Marriage Solutions, and it has a whole array of how you can make your marriage come to terms with reality. My viewers all across the world, I hope you've enjoyed watching your Poetic Influence on the Weekend Show. We have the entertainment segment coming up next for you on the Weekend Show. <laughs>